Aloha and welcome to Spirit Chat Radio. So it's been a little bit since I've done my last podcast. I'm going to be getting back on track, you guys. I have people asking me, where have you been? You just disappeared and I listen to you every day or morning or whatever. I'm so sorry, but with the holidays, it got really hard. I'm sure that you guys were very busy yourselves to get the podcasting done. Plus I have some new product things coming out. Then of course I got sick, wouldn't you know? Um, and it took a little bit to get back on track, but I'm back. So yay for that. Okay. And I have some new things that are going to be coming out and new things that are happening for 2018. And so I wanted to go over that a little bit before I get into uh, the podcast today, which is going to be on the super blue blood moon. So before we get into that, I have a new podcasting platform. So hopefully my voice is sounding less echoey. So that's super cool. I'm pretty excited about that. And then one thing I wanted to let everybody know and let my people know is I have, um, decided to run my psychic ability class open year round. So before I was running it in phases where, you know, every three months or something, I would open that. But because I have so many new things coming out this year, and I really, really feel like that's a super important foundational class. If you guys want to get in on some of the other stuff that I'm going to be doing with my mentorship program and um, my spirit communication class and I have like some other things going on in the works which you guys will be hearing about soon Um, if you want to get in on a lot of that stuff I really feel like the psychic ability class just makes it that much easier you become that more advanced that much quicker it's Something that you don't necessarily have to take for the other classes, but I'm telling you, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, In fact, that's something that I've noticed when I've even uh, done some mentorship stuff. There's a huge difference between people who have taken the class and people who have not taken the class. The people who have taken the class just are are developed a lot further and they have a much... um, broader knowledge base when it comes to advancing more. And usually if you take a mentorship session from me, you're trying to get to that next level, right? And so if you're interested, that is now going to be open year round. And that's the www.psychicabilityclass.com. The other thing that I wanted to let you guys know about is I will be opening, um, some new little testing things, some new classes and whatnot. And anybody on my VIP list gets first access to those. So if you want to uh, get on my VIP list, if you're not on there, you want to go to keystospiritworld.com. There's like lots of places that ways you can get on my VIP list because you can either take the quiz or There's an empath quiz, a psychic ability quiz, or if you want a free meditation, you can go to keys to the spirit world backslash uh, chi meditation, and you can get on my email or my VIP list that way. So I do save some special things for my VIP list so that you guys, um, you know, when you go there, you get first access to a lot of stuff and even like stories or different things, you know, I have some other things that go out on, on my list. So that being said, uh, let's get into the super blue blood moon. It was funny because Lydia and me were talking about that and she had a very hard time saying that. She said it was a tongue twister and I don't even think she could say it, um, hardly at all. In fact, I don't think she said it correctly one time. But anyways, Lydia, it's okay. So the reason I wanted to talk about this one, I don't always do updates on, I do energy updates, energy awareness updates. For those of you who follow me often on my Facebook pages or my groups. And I do those because 
people find them extremely helpful. I'm really, really affected by the energy waves. And so when I can feel it begin to affect me, I like to sort through the information and give that to you guys so that you guys kind of know what is coming your way, you know, maybe ways that, different ways that you can deal with the energy waves and just understand that it, a lot of times it makes you feel calmer if you know it's not just you kind of just being all crazy or you know being hormonal or just being angry or whatever it's not like something inside you that is um, you're not being able to rationalize and that's how it feels sometimes when an energy wave comes through it feels like you know your emotions are crazy and you're all over the place and you can't really pinpoint why and then you become this hurricane of emotions that's just kind of whipping through your household and everybody's trying to steer clear board up their windows but it's really helpful when you learn oh okay that makes total sense i understand that i'm affected by these things and then your brain can separate the emotions from your body it can compartmentalize better and when your brain can compartmentalize better going oh that I get it now then that's an easy way to ca calm down the hurricane that's moving through your household and so that's why I find it super helpful and it's interesting because some people don't even believe in you know necessarily some of the things that I talk about or um, you know if you're saying lunar eclipse or you know, uh, blood moon or blue moon or whatever, they're kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But the funny thing that I find the most interesting is anybody who I've ever talked to who works with people that would be like in customer service, um, at a bar, um, anywhere where a restaurant, you're dealing with a lot of people, they always can say that they can tell when there's going to be a full moon. They always, they know it. Bars get crazier. You ask anybody if you're not in customer service. It is like a true thing. So they cannot believe a word of any of the podcasting stuff I've ever done, but they do believe in the full moon and its effects. And so, especially when they're dealing with people because their behaviors shift. Now, all these people's behaviors that are shifting, a lot of times they have no idea that they're being that way. They just think it's Tuesday or Wednesday or Friday or whatever you know they're just like being thinking everything's all normal when they're experiencing this turmoil of energy that pushes out into the everywhere that, that they touch you know energy that you're projecting goes out into the room it goes out into your household it goes out into your workplace it touches people touches people at the checkout line you know you don't think of that you think it's just um, it, it what you would view as an interaction is really an energetic connection. And so you don't even have to have words when you're doing this energetic exchange. Um, it can be a look or a tone or a feel, but people always, again, they try to place a very logical explanation behind it. So they go body language, et cetera, et cetera, whatever, that's totally fine. It doesn't, truthfully, it doesn't really matter. Body language, not body language. As long as you're aware of just the projection of it, and then the reaction of the people around you. That's what can be helpful. But I don't always do the full moon ones. We have them often, you know. And But this energy um, that's coming through with the super blue blood moon, it's something that I really thought that we needed to go over because it is intense. Let me tell you. Wow. I have never, I can't probably say I've never, but man, have I not experienced something like this for a extremely long time. And I feel like I am constant. I, I truthfully, you guys, I kind of feel like it's a mix between cool energy, but also being on guard 24 seven. Like I'm on guard spiritually and um, I'm on guard with people a little bit and um, during my dream state, I ha my, your awareness really needs to be on point with this energetic wave coming through because it will affect any and all things in your life. It's going to affect relationships. It's going to affect money. It's going to affect your future as far as manifestation. It's going to affect 
just your day-to-day, you know, getting through life part. Um, So that's why I thought it was really important. And even with me being really aware, because I'm really aware with these types of things, I'm even feeling like I'm on a teeter-totter and standing in the middle. Like, I'm just like, whoa. Like, I just, I have to be super hyper-aware. So let's go through some of the phases and, and what that you'll want to be aware of. When I did my posts on this, this is something that most people will have noticed from about January 15th, and they're, they're going to continue to notice it until February 15th. So the, the actual, what, what a super blue blood moon is, you're have, we're basically having a super moon, a blood moon, and a blue moon all on the same date, which is January 31st of this year, 2018. And it's ridiculously rare. But like I said, the energy with it is just crazy on many good levels, but also it feels like you're in a wind tunnel. It's just nuts. So I've broke down some phases for you guys, but like I said, it's not just going to be, everybody's under the impression, that even like full moons or different things, that you're just going to experience it on that day when that's not true. You're not going to just experience it on that day. There's like, even like Mercury retrograde, there is a, um, a you know, a, a leading up period um, uh, and an aftershock period, you know, it lasts way longer than people realize. Um, so that is the same thing that's happening here. That's why it's going to be like roughly January 15th to February 15th. So there's going to be a gearing up phase and this phase affects you emotionally and you can be going through different levels. You can truthfully, you can, instead of actually going through the three phases that we're talking about, like all separately, many of these phases may overlap for you. So just understand that it's not like you're going to be going through uh, the gearing up phase and then getting to phase two and phase three and like it goes in a flow that way. Necessarily, it might work that way for you, but some of these also may overlap for you and you may have some different things uh, coming and going in each of the different phases. Just so the order of the phases is not important. Just under kind of understanding the phases would be more important. So the gearing up phase affects you emotionally and this is causing some people to feel very irritated, edgy, um, angry, more angry than they normally would and more sensitive than normal. And by more sensitive than normal, um, I mean uh, more sensitive as far as spiritual stuff goes your spirit, like spirit stuff, spirit awareness, empaths being more sensitive. You could even just be emotionally sensitive, but the sensitivity in your emotional state and your spiritual state is going to be like off the charts. And with that comes anxiety as well. So for those of you who um, have issues with anxiety, uh, that it's might be a struggle for you right now. And that will go away, so don't worry, because I know how anxiety works. But you're definitely probably going to be experiencing a lot more anxious type thoughts and behaviors and different just anxieties. I mean, they're intense right now. And so the key here, again, which I was talking to you about sort of at the beginning, the key with dealing with these really kind of edgy, angry, irritated Um, and anxious, sensitive stuff is to really be aware that many of these things probably are not stemming from you. Um, So for instance, how would you know that? You would know because if you have an event or a thought process that, that is leading up to these emotions, then yes, you had some, you had some input, there was some stuff going on that, that created that emotion for you. But the problem with this super blue blood moon is people are making mountains out of molehills, straight up. There's no other way to put it. So for instance, let's just say somebody did something at work 
or like a family member, spouse, kids, whatever, did something that makes you angry or upset, but you find that you're being like way over the top angry or way more upset than you normally should, that is what I'm talking about. That's what you want to be watching for. You'll know it. It's not, you should know it. You really, I mean, if you listen to my podcast, I I think you're aware enough to know it. But it's one of those things that you will find yourself going, whoa, like why am, I literally have found myself doing this for like a week and a half to two weeks now. Like I have to really, I am not normally an edgy, uh, angry person ever. Like I, everything I'm just like, oh, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Like I'm really pretty zen. I, I'm pretty chill. Nothing really upsets me. Hardly ever. And not that I don't get upset, but it's, it's rare. I'm pretty positive, but I have had some things that have gotten me so mad that, I mean, just like comments somebody would say, or an interaction I would have that I've thought, what in the world is, why am I reacting this way? First of all, it doesn't feel good because I'm normally really chill. So it really goes against the grain of my, my feeling, you know, Zen inside or calm or just relaxed. I'm very comfortable with that feeling. So when I get feeling out of the ordinary where I'm just like, wow, that really made me mad or just like I can feel myself, you know, your blood boiling for something. I just had to be like, it's almost comical. I've literally almost been laughing at myself at some of the things that have gotten me angry because I'm just like, wow, that is so, so unlike me and so ridiculous. Like I literally made Mount Everest out of a molehill, not just a mountain, but like Mount Everest. So luckily I have... I'm aware enough that this mountain out of a molehill thing is kind of just in my head and I don't voice it. I don't say it out loud, thank God. Um, because then I just work on calming the, 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 the mountain, you know, bringing it back down to more realistic level. And so I've been working on that a lot the last um, week and a half. So understanding that you might be blowing things way more out of proportion than they should be or feeling extra sensitive or more anxious. Um, I've had a lot more anxiety um, ridden things happening to me. Like normally my anxiety stays pretty in check with empath stuff. This right now, I feel like it's sort of just running around like a teenage child. Like it's just crazy when it wants to be and it's just out of nowhere. It just decides, nope, we're going to have some anxiety right now. It's very strange. So <clears throat> that's been interesting. So just understand that there's a lot of intense, intense emotional energy surfacing and moving about through everybody. Because as this energy comes in, it's moving about through you and out through other people, which kind of, kind of brings us to the next phase, which I want to talk about, which is the flowing phase. This phase, however the energy is also flowing. But what I want to talk about on this particular phase is this flowing phase is affecting your uh, physical space. And here are some things that you're kind of wanting to be aware of or watching for. Cluttered areas. um, And then I will, I'm going to go through this list and then I'm going to come back and talk about each each thing. Cluttered cluttered areas and holding on to things you don't use in messy places. Those three things are things that you're going to want to watch out for because it's going to contribute to the anger, the irritation, the anxiety. So it's going to feed into the emotional phase of this super blue blood moon. Um, And that's really because cluttered spaces and physical things hold energy. You don't think about it, but it really truly holds energy. And so if you have, when you're dealing with some real intense energy phases, like we're dealing with emotional, energetic stuff, um, the physical items will catch all this. It will catch it just like a catcher's mitt. It'll catch it and it'll hold on to it. So um, I noticed, for instance, that 
I had been moving some things around because we'd had a lot of uh, family visiting over the holidays. And so like my office wasn't normally in the way that it wasn't set up the way it normally is for me because I had, you know, well, I'll just throw this on the desk here. I'll move this over here. Um, and I just, as I'm moving everything around, I wasn't organizing it very well because it was holidays and because I wasn't feeling well during part of that time and everything was sort of chaotic. Um, I just kind of threw things here and there and everywhere. And as this energy came in, I, uh, I was noticing every time I walked by my desk, I would just all of a sudden get really tense and irritated. And I thought, what the heck? Again, this is an unusual reaction for me. I knew that we had family in. It's not like my desk is like that all the time. But it got, it, it happened for a couple of days to where I'm just like, okay, this feeling has to go. But I knew what it was that again, that space collects that energy and it grabs it and it holds onto it. So every time you walk by cluttered spaces, you will, you'll feel that energy being caught and stuck. And when you're, we're dealing with this type of energy, we want things to move like a river. We want things to be move, moving and free flowing. And so in order to keep things moving and free flowing, we need to have some organization. Um, so for instance, cluttered areas. Junk, junk things that need thrown out. You need to clear, clean and clear those uh, spaces out of, especially of trash. Because energetically, that's kind of energetically hoarding. You're, you're, you're holding on to some stuff that doesn't need to be there. You have to let go of old things, even trash and everything. You have to let go of old thing to bring in new energy. And so as the new energy is going to try to push through, which is going to be another phase we're going to be talking about, you need space for that new energy. You don't want it, you know, bumping up against all this other stuff. So how I kind of explain that to people is, since you want things to flow like a river, if you've ever been anywhere or seen on TV, National Geographic, whatever, on like some rivers that beavers dam up, or maybe they've had like really bad um, rains and like lots of sticks and trees and mud have kind of dammed up in certain areas, that would be like your cluttered areas of junk and trash. And so then when the nice clean water is trying to flow through, it kind of has to go through these sticks and it gets hung up and then the, the water is being diverted and there's not like a nice clean flow to it, right? And so that's what you want to create. Holding on to things you don't use, don't wear, etc. You want to release these items and, and give them away. Take them to Goodwill, sell them. I don't care what you do with them. But you want to release it because that's old energy. And with this really powerful, intense energy, there's new stuff coming in. There's new energy coming in with manifestation power like you've never seen in your life. Like it's amazing. And so definitely get rid of old stuff because that's old energy that's holding on to old things, old situations, old old places, old thoughts. You don't think about this, but this is true. And like I said, this is like energy on steroids. Um, <clears throat> it will, that manifest manifestation energy when it comes in, you don't want it kind of holding on or working with new or old um, stuff that you really don't want to manifest, recreate and whatnot. Um, messy places in your house, car, desk, anywhere that you're normally habitating or um, living or whatever you want to keep your living spaces more tidy than usual. It's the same thing. So it's just, I just broke them down into three areas. Junk, things that need thrown out, get rid of things that you no longer have any use for and make sure that the things that you do have use for that you use daily you are keeping more tidy than normal. You, they have it, they're in their space, they're organized, dusting. That's huge for a lot, for a lot of people. Um, dust is really, really holds a lot of energy. I, I don't know um, if you understand that or have done it or not, but dust, it's, it's crazy how much energy dust holds. So anyways, so again, getting rid of junk, trash, things that you don't use and keeping your things that you do use more tidy. And 
you want to make sure that you're again you're allowing this new energy to come through because it allows the cleaner energy to come through so that brings us to the manifestation phase this phase will affect your future outcome and probabilities this is one area that you're going to really it, it's kind of a catch-22 because this is one area where you're really going to want to start paying very special attention to your thoughts and what you're putting out into the universe because like I said this is manifestation energy on steroids I kid you not the interesting thing about this for people is when you're also dealing with feeling very edgy and angry or more sensitive than usual sometimes that's where your thoughts and your energy lies right you're feeling like, oh, I'm mad about this or that happened or so-and-so got me upset or I'm just feeling agitated for whatever reason. And then it's a catch-22 because you really, at this point in time, have to watch your thoughts and pay very careful attention to what you're putting out there because I get, like I said, and I know I keep repeating this, but I am not kidding you. This is manifestation time on steroids. This is when things are coming to fruition that I guess I would say probably the most effortless that I've seen in a while. So um, it's something that you just really want to get your, your energy in check. Now, I, like I said, I've had a few ups and downs with this stuff coming through. I, um, I've done the organizing, the cleaning and all of that. Um, I'm, you know, keep trying to keep my thoughts in check. But there's been a few days, or because the energy is so intense and because I'm so sensitive to it, that I've been irritated about whatever and I've went to sleep. And I'll tell you, it's not a good idea. Um, that hasn't worked out well for me at all because I am very aware of the spirits um, of the spiritual stuff that happens to me when I'm sl when I sleep. I'm a very lucid sleeper, and so while I've been sleeping, I've definitely noticed with my energy, if I kind of go to bed irritated and I, or I'm holding an irritated energy throughout the day, I am like a magnet to some not high vibration um, dreams, uh, things that go on during, you know, with uh, spiritual contact, which is something that you may or may not notice on your own. But regardless of if you notice it or don't notice it, I'm I'll, I just believe me when I tell you, it's just something that you want to try to keep in check before you go to sleep. You want to try to figure out what you can do to zen out your energy um, at nighttime and before you go to bed for sure, uh, because it will set the tone to your next day. But it's also you're pulling in a lot of different. There's a lot of different spiritual energies swirling around with this intense. Uh, super blue blood moon, moon. Um, you're going to be noticing a lot the the spiritual index is off the charts right now and if they're going to be circling and swirling around you just want high vibration to be cir circling and swirling around you and so it's something that you're going to want to pay very close attention to not to mention the most major part is most things that you're thinking about have have a really powerful manifestation energy behind them at this time so that brings me to the second thing that you're going to want to do is is plan and organize so now is you know how people wonder um, astrologically when should I start this or when should I do this next phase in my life are you looking at opening a business are you looking at switching jobs are you looking at doing whatever it is that you're looking taking a trip whatever right now is such the most amazing time to plan and organize whatever you wish to see manifest into your life and start putting these ideas down on paper be a creative force at this point in time but not just a creative force plan and organize actually start mentally planning and organizing whatever you wish to see manifest in your future into 2018 into wherever doesn't I don't care if you're going into 2052 but now is a f freaking fantastic time to plan and organize 
what you wish to manifest. So that works in partnership with your thoughts. As you begin to go, okay, well, Jen's saying, maybe I should start kind of, you know, brainstorming some ideas of what I want to do. Maybe I should start putting them down on paper. If you don't know what it is that you want to manifest, that's a perf perfect place to start. Start brainstorming. Start brainstorming some ideas, but put them on paper. When you, or you can put them on your iPhone or, you know, on computer, but that's what I mean. Just like get it down in written words. When you take something that you're planning and you actually change them into written word to where you're seeing it visually, that really connects your thought process and it really solidifies some energy that you push out into the universe. So even if you're just playing around with it in your head, that would, let's just say normally that that would, your thought process is on a scale of a, a one to 10, your thoughts are registering as a six on the manifestation scale, just for, it's not, it's going to be really higher right now, but let's just pretend it's a six. Once you start putting it on paper, now you're working with your visual skills, your brain, and you're like kind of aligning everything up physically and spiritually from putting it on paper and putting it in, you know, in your thoughts and kind of really working with it on a brainstorming aspect. Now you're heightening it to like an eight, nine, or 10. So don't just keep it rolling around in your head as a thought, you know, put it down, plan and organize, put it down, iPhone, whatever, I don't care what you're doing, but put it down somewhere that you can actually visually read later and work with it. Work with the energy with this super blue blood moon. You want to work with it visually and you want to work with it with your thoughts. And I'm going to repeat myself, but if you don't know what it is, let's say you have a business idea. So now's a good time to start planning and brainstorming that. But let's just say you don't have any idea, but you know you want to shift something with work or you know you want to shift something with like travel, but you don't know how, like maybe you want to go to Australia or somewhere you don't know how you're going to get there. Brainstorm it on paper, like start figuring it out. Start just write ideas down. Let things come to you because this is a very creative energy that's flowing through. Like you're going to be, like I said, when the spirit index is really high, now's the time that you're going to be really tuned in a lot of times without you guys even realizing it. You're going to be tuning it in really well with your guides and different things. So energies and thoughts and different ideas might just come to you as you're also putting these thoughts down. That's a way to connect with your guides is to just start brainstorming and writing stuff down. And so if you have a more detailed idea, then you can do a more detailed plan, you know, and you can put like time frames and whatever. Um, with me, for instance, I, we are opening another uh, phase of our bus my business, our business that will be elaborating on this, um, the keys to spirit world stuff. So you guys all know, or should know that I do classes. We just talked about that and I'm offering more classes this year. And so during this time, there's been some class stuff that has come up that is just forming all on its own. I swear. It's just like things are coming together without me even having to try it because that is one of my goals for this year is to really give you guys that want to advance classes, more ways to advance, more knowledge. And so in order to do that, I actually have to have the product for you. And so all of a sudden, this stuff is snowballing for me. This is where I'm telling you what's happening with my planning and organizing phase. And then also a, a new venture that we're looking at doing that I think you guys are going to love, um, which I'll be talking about in the next few weeks. But with our new venture that we're working on, I kind of had it in the back of my head to potentially maybe play around with and do by 2019. All of a sudden this energy hits and this thing just starts taking off without me. Like, I mean, I felt like I was holding on to the tail as it just, things started manifesting. Like people started contacting me about this idea kind of out of nowhere. They started telling me different things and it just like stuff started falling in my lap literally regarding this idea that I had that we're actually working on. And it happened so quickly 
during this energy, the manifestations intense, the energy flows intense, that where I thought we were going to be looking at 2019, I am now know that I'm seeing, I'm seeing more of a time frame of June of this year, which gives me some, it's a catch 22 guys, because it gives me some anxiety <laughs> because I'm sitting here going, well, wait a minute. I have all these other classes I'm doing. I expected to put this into the future somewhere. And I did, I put it on paper. I put it in my thought process. But when I put it into the future, it came around in the future. It was like, no, we're not going out that far. We're making this happen now. And so it kind of turned around and, you know, kind of bit me because it was like, it, it's just happening and it's, it's happening whether I want it to or not. I, I, you'll understand when I, what, cause I know some of you is like, well, just don't do it. But no, it's kind of, it's happening whether I want it to or not. The timing feels good. But like I said, it, it does leave me with a little anxiety because it's like, I have so much on my plate. I have to get back into doing the podcasting. I give a lot of free info and um, I really want to continue to, to, to do the podcasting. I love it. I love connecting with you guys. And, but then I also am loving doing the classes. And so um, it's a lot of work for me to do the classes and to do all these things that I do and to do the podcasting. It's a, it's a lot of work. Now I've just added another thing to it. But you know what? I'm curious to see where this is going to go. This is good energy. Feels good. Feels right. So I'm just going to let the anxiety kind of be there for a minute and I'm going to just move forward because I'm, this is an amazing time frame. I'm super excited to see where it's headed. So that's kind of how that's working in my life. And that comes into number three, which is release all negativity and pessimistic, pessimistic, sorry, can't say it, pessimistic thoughts. So basically Allow yourself to be free to accept whatever the universe has in store instead of resisting and trying to control the universe. That's where I'm at with this new venture. It's where I'm at. Yes, I can feel the anxiety. And, and I know what anxiety is like. And for those of you who haven't gone, nope, she don't know. Like that, it, I mean, that will stop you in your tracks. I absolutely know because I've had it before that it was, has been really intense. But you know what? I just, I'm not willing to let that sidetrack me from things that I know the universe is, is pushing my way. So I'll work through it. I, I will work through it. And I, I'm not going to allow it to stop something that has some intensity behind it. So as I had it, I just had to let it go. I had to just be like, you know what? Something is making this happen sooner than I ha was comfortable with. That's a good way to put it. There is some force that is really making this manifest very quickly and again more more quickly than I'm comfortable with so I have to kind of just see why and see where it takes me because I do trust I really do I, because I've been on this journey for so long of my life basically since I was born um, but you know sometimes when you have like newborn babies and stuff you kind of fall off the trusting in the universe part because then you feel like you have to control the universe control everything right but um I, I really know that, and I really do trust that when something's coming to me, like with this intensity behind it, the universe has something cool lined out. It may be scary and, you know, a little bit nerve wracking, but something super cool is going to happen. And I trust that is, you know, it's the best thing to head towards. And I, and I become curious and I want to check it and I want to see, I want to see what happens. And so I really do, I, I'm, I'm not resisting. I'm really practicing letting go of any anxiety I have with this new venture. And it's an up and down thing because sometimes I do a lot of stuff before I go to bed and then I wake up going, oh my gosh, there's so many things to do. But I'm releasing it. And then taking action and putting things into place is the last thing. Uh, move forward. Big steps or baby steps, doesn't matter. But take some type of action. And that's where we're moving into um, this new venture with. Like we're just, as everything's manifesting and, and stuff is coming to me and people are coming to me trying to get this venture moving, um, I'm also taking steps to be proactive in it. You know, domain names and um, sites and different products and things that I'm pulling together for this particular venture. I'm actively working with the people in the universal energy for um, making that making that happen, making that to happen. So, 
I just wanted to let you guys know some of the things that I was also experiencing with this and how I'm kind of dealing with it um, because I know that you guys really like some examples of what's going on and this energy is just crazy intense so you're gonna have to enjoy the ride so we got the gearing up phase which is going to be really emotional roller coaster to sum up and we want you to keep your own emotions in check and to be have really just active awareness of that that a lot of this is manifesting outside of yourself it's intensifying the mountains are intensifying by this this energy the super blue blood moon and then we're going to move into the flowing stage and that's something that you're really going to have for those of you who are kind of are OCD and like to control things that's where you're going to have more control um, you know organize straighten throw away stuff get rid of old stuff you don't want the old junk manifesting into new stuff because the manifesting energy is so powerful right now. That's why you want to release old things that you don't need. Um, and you know, want to clear, clean, declutter. And then we're going to move into the manifestation phase. So any ideas and thoughts that you have playing around with in your head, you want to keep them in check into a positive high vibe. Absolutely positive high vibe. You want to release any pessimistic thoughts. You want to manifest on paper. You want to get your thoughts and your manifestation energy in sync. You want to create, you want to do spiritual, physical. That was where it comes from your, your mind to the paper. You want to, you know, keep that aligned. Um, if you don't know what you want to do for manifestation stuff, just brainstorm. Brainstorm anything. If you're like, well, you know, my life's pretty good. I don't really have anything to do. Um, well, there's always something that you can work on. Maybe your life is amazing, but you haven't had a vacation for a while. You know, do some, play around with it. You got nothing to lose, especially if life is good, right? So maybe you want a new car or something. Who knows? Just play around with some stuff and see what happens. But for those of you who are non-traditional people or your healers, um, if you're really wanting to work with moving into a new phase of a prof this prof profession or you wanting to move into creating a business, um, if you're non-traditional workers and you just you want to work with that energy, now's the time. It's like phenomenal and really super cool. Um, for those of you who work with spirits or are interested in that spiritual stuff, spiritual communication, whatever, uh, you want to definitely get on my VIP list if you're not on there because I am going to go into some more stories about some other spiritual stuff that's been happening to me. I don't really have time to do that today, um, but I save some of that for my VIP list anyway. So um, definitely check that out, Keys to the Spirit World, or you can go Keys to the Spirit World backslash chi meditation and get on my and then you get a free meditation download so um, you can go get on that list or or keys to spirit world there's a couple things you can get on there and then you'll learn more about some that high spirit index I'm talking about because um, my VIP people are going to have the opportunity to get into a cool program first and foremost um, before everybody else and we're going to be talking a lot about that stuff so Anyways, I am glad to be back. I hope that you are enjoying me being back. So I will um, be back soon. I will be back not as long as it took last time. Swear to gosh. You know, promise. I'll be back soon. Okay, so anyways, have the most amazing day. Check out the moon and see if you can see it on the 31st. But do know there are after effects. It's going to go a little while. So I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to YouTunes or iTunes. Oh, and you guys who have been putting reviews on iTunes and stuff, I appreciate that so much. That's really amazing. You guys are awesome. Um, but anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Have the most amazing day. Aloha.